Greetings, this is August 13th at 1230 a.m. Uh, it's very difficult to get on the infrared sites right now. There's a lot of data being processed and a lot of people trying to access them. So with the help from uh, a viewer, I was able to receive some screens through email. This is uh, the fire perimeter and the active areas as of 10.39 p.m. PST, that's Pacific Standard Time. There's no significant change in the perimeter. However, the data is indicating uh, intense infrared behavior within the uh, central areas of the Elephant Hill wildfire. I'm going to move around to different areas of concern and uh, just stop on them for a few moments so that you can pause the screen and look at the data indicated. Remember we're seeing dots on a screen. This is over the last 24 hour period before the update and those dots could be 500 meters to a kilometer distant from their actual intended source. This is the chasm. I can see approximately 14 indications of heat, uh, approximately 3 to 4 kilometers southeast of the edge of the park boundary. Now we're looking at the area around Highway 99, Highway 97. Uh, I see no indications east of Highway 97. I also see no indication south of Highway 99. I am seeing uh, some indication uh, south of Maiden Creek and towards the power line area. Uh, now we're looking at uh, the Boston Flats region and approximately five to six kilometers west and I am seeing a reduction in the number of hot spots we looked at earlier. Now we're going to the eastern flank and the encroachment upon the Dead River Canyon near the Hoodoos and southeast of Haihium and there is uh, quite a lot of infrared and in random patterns and remember that those dots you are seeing can be uh, 500 meters to a kilometer away from their intended source. I'm now looking at the Loon Lake area and I'm not seeing any infrared heat indicated within 1500 meters of the lake. I am seeing three or four spots just northeast. I'm seeing a cluster northeast uh, approximately two to three kilometers away. Another cluster three to three and a half kilometers southeast and a final cluster approximately two kilometers south of the middle of the lake. Um, it's actually looking clearer than I've seen it in recent days. I am now looking at the northeast flank. I can see random activity uh, going northwestward uh, over the Bona ridge at the Bonaparte there. I am seeing an approach to the Dead Man River, but at the ridge line, I am not seeing encroachment upon that. I am seeing a lot of activity around the western shores of Young Lake. We're just going to flip to the overlay map and uh, see the perimeter as it's been indicated on this satellite system and see if there's any differences that we can tell or hotspots that may be showing outside of this perimeter. And I see some to the southeast and to the northwest, uh, approximately a dozen hotspots on each flank. Uh, now we're jumping a little bit lower just to see Vidette and if there's any encroachment there. Only one or two hot spots within, uh, let's say, a kilometer, 750 meters. And again, these may be off. They may actually be within the perimeter, but the satellite is indicating them outside. So you need verification from multiple sources. This is a shot of the northern flank and itchment towards 
uh, Green Lake and 70 Mile House and there's a scale in the bottom right of the screen and I'm looking at approximately 8 to 9 kilometers from both 70 Mile and Green Lake. This now is windy and we are looking at the weather system off the coast and in Alberta they have uh, the system off the coast looks like it's it wants to flow southeast and it has a little kick and it's throwing itself up to the north as it touches land and uh, there's a fairly steady uh, wind coming from the southeast in Alberta and pushing northward. I am also seeing a small development uh, kind of a little cyclonic action down in Washington and I'm going to look for that in the future to see if it moves northward that could provide some turbulent air. Um, we're looking at 11 kilometers an hour coming from the south down in Savona. I have heard that the wind might be blowing off the lakes down there. Um, it can be varied depending on where you are. It's a large volume of air and uh, I'm going to suggest that it's trying to push its way through valleys and gullies in order to um, find its pathway north. This has been a really brief update. Uh, it's difficult to get on the servers and get updated infrared screens. I hope you're able to see these clearly. Please be safe. There's an active wildfire on right now. There is lightning strikes to the north and you can find those on the BC wildfire maps and also check out Drive BC because they have a lot of road closures going on right now for evacuation routes and such. Be safe everyone.